Welcome to Tatum Talk. Today, I am talking about my experience renting out on Peerspace. If you don't know what Peerspace is, it is a platform that allows you to rent out, similar to Airbnb, your apartment or any other kind of space, except it's not for overnight. It's just by the hour, okay? So, for instance, I added my space, opened an account maybe four months ago. However, just last week, I got an email notification that someone wanted to rent my space for two hours. It was for 55 an hour. They just wanted to simply get ready for an event. I don't know if you're familiar with that show Bridgerton, but they had a Bridgerton experience it happened to be near me, which is probably why they picked my location. And so she really just needed a bathroom to use. So that worked out. It was minimal effort cleaning for me. I had to, I cleaned up in preparation of, but other than that, afterward, there wasn't much to clean up. And when I say clean up, y'all, real cleaning up. Not like, you know, that half-assed cleaning you do for your family and friends when they come over. I mean, like really cleaning, like Airbnb type what you would expect to walk into or a hotel, you expect it to look fresh and new and inviting, clean, not, not even a piece of hair uh, around, um, no remnants, like dirty dishes or nothing like that. Um, everything that's like personalized, I would take away. And so put it in another room just to make it look like, you know, not like nobody lives here, but just like, you know, you're in somebody's space, but you're not in somebody's personal space. Like, if you get what I'm saying. So I be trying out things, you know, I have tried out quite a few things between Toro. I wanted to do Airbnb, but I couldn't get, um, I couldn't get a place to rent to me using a corporate lease. So I, I didn't put that much effort into it. I looked at two or three places and, and filled out a few applications and that was it. I'm always looking for a new income stream. So I said, let me try peer space. My daughter does it with her place in New York and she's had a few bookings and I've seen videos where other people have been successful. Granted, if you have event space venues, multiple locations, this could really be a huger income stream. For me, I just tried it out just with my place. Um, and like I said, they didn't even use the whole area. They only used the bathroom. And don't think you have to have something all fabulous. It's not like I have this or this. What I have is very basic and regular. I was thinking, and if anybody out there has done this or thought about this, please leave me a message below. In my building, there's a community room. and has like a pool table, a bar area, a TV. It's like a lounge, a fireplace. I was like, hmm, can I rent that out? Like, I could book it myself if I wanted to have like a baby shower or something. But can I rent that out to other people on Peer Space and charge them? Let me know what y'all think about that. So this is my Peer Space listing. See, I have it at 55 an hour for a two hour minimum. And over here to the left is just where you can fill in about your space, your parking, the rules that you have, um, any amenities that you might have, and your hours that you want to operate, your cancellation policy, and here is my first review. They came in to have this, I don't watch this show, but I think it's really popular. Um, they have this experience, a Queen's Ball, and it happens to be five minutes from my home, which is the reason I think I got booked. Anyway. They came in for this. She really just needed a place to change and freshen up and get ready for this ball. So they waited in the living room while they took turns in the bathroom. They just used the bathroom primarily the whole time. So that's why I say $55 an hour for the bathroom. Who knew? So as you can see, this was for two hours, two o'clock to four and I have it listed for 55 an hour, so that's 110, but then I have a cleaning fee added on, that makes it 130. Then peer space service fee, 1950 comes out, so that leaves me with 110.50. The event happened on a Friday, 
today is Tuesday. The payment comes tomorrow. So minus the weekend, I guess three business days. I said peer space is good for any type of space. I'm gonna actually show you what type of spaces are on there. So if you are looking for some place to rent for a baby shower, recording studio, um, en engagement party, like anything really that you could think of and you need a space for it, there's a space on this site. I'm gonna also leave a link below because if this is your first time to peer space, you can click that link and get $50 off your booking and I would get $50 for referring you. For an example, I put in performance and I put in New York, so you search. And so what comes up, we're just gonna click in this one. You wanna have a space that looks a little bit more interesting than your home. Look at this, for example. You could host a nice little interview here if you're doing like something for your blog or a YouTube channel or maybe a podcast. What about this space right here? You're creating your own brand. Let's say you wanna have like a yoga class, Pilates class, dance class, something like that. You rent out a studio, you charge people. Say you get 15 people, 20 people, you're gonna cover the space and you're gonna make a profit. What about this dinner party? This is giving birthday vibes something you could do that's really cute this is me is giving like tea party let's say you want like a dance space but uh houston i won't even put where i'm at i'll just pick someplace else and then search and so here they have open spaces this is a dance theater rehearsal space um this is a loft this is a, a, oh look, a fitness and gym center. Hold your own classes. Want to have a baby shower. All right, Miami. Okay, so, oh, look at this. Look at this. This is sexy. A stunning penthouse outdoor space. Oh, look, a lake house. You can literally find some of anything and everything. Hopefully, I've given you some ideas about peer space that you hadn't thought of. And thanks for watching this video to the end. Please hit the like button and share this with someone you know that's planning an event this summer.